Now we'll go to Houston. I'm Alice Purcell with First Baptist Christian Academy in Pasadena. Uh, Chairman Bernanke, what effect is the Euro crisis having on the U.S. economy? And what would a centralized European fiscal policy, um, what effect would that have on the global economy? That's a, that's a, that, that, you have about an hour? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the European situation is very difficult. I mean, the basic problem there is that, like the states of the United States, they have a single monetary policy. There's one central bank, the European Central Bank, that makes uh, monetary policy for all 17 nations in the Eurozone. But unlike the states of the United States, they don't have one fiscal policy. Each country has its own parliament, its own prime minister, and its own fiscal policy. So it is as if, in the United States, uh, during a downturn, um, individual states know that the federal government is there to pay Social Security, to pay Medicare, to provide uh, defense, all of those uh, broad government functions, and each state and locality only has to deal with its more local services that it provides. In, in Europe, each country is basically responsible for its own uh, uh, fiscal situation. Now, since there are some countries that are weaker fiscally and they're involved in um, uh, tightening their belts very, in a very um, strong way, the results of that are um, uh, weaker economies in those countries. And indeed, most of Europe is now um, suffering a much weaker economy. On top of that, uh, their banking system is, uh, is been stressed by the fact that banks hold a lot of sovereign government debt, uh, which in turn is hurting the financial positions of the banks and reducing the amount of lending they're willing to do. So uh, the European uh, continent, and particularly the Eurozone, those 17 countries that share the, the euro, are under a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, economic and financial stress. Um, there's been a lot of uh, steps taken to try to address that by European leaders. They have a very strong um, incentive to address these problems. They want to maintain the political integrity, the, the uh, European collaboration that's been going on now since uh, uh, almost since World War II. Uh, but it is very difficult and involves many, many uh, tough political choices. Um, the effects on the United States are pretty significant. Um, there are two basic types of channels by which the euro crisis is affecting us. First, um, Europe is a major export destination for U.S. firms. So a weaker European economy means that both U.S. exporters and exporters from other countries are finding weaker markets, and that is reducing demand for our products and, and slowing our economy. Uh, probably even more important is the fact that concerns about the European situation have created lots of stress and volatility in financial markets, in the stock market, in credit markets, um, and uh, those, uh, those problems are affecting us uh, here in the United States as well. So between the financial effects and the trade effects, um, the European crisis is slowing, slowing um, our economy. Of course, there are many other factors affecting the U.S. economy as well, including uh, fiscal uh, issues, um, credit tightness, uh, the housing market, and so on. But this is one of the, the European situation is one of the factors that's uh, slowing the, the economic recovery. You asked about what would happen if Europe uh, had a single fiscal, um, a single fiscal authority that would put them in a much closer situation relative to the United States that would probably uh, address uh, many of the concerns, many of the problems that they have. But Getting to that point is very difficult because, again, you have 17 different countries and each, uh, each set of taxpayers wants to make sure that their own country is uh, being fairly treated. And so it's a very difficult, complex uh, political negotiation that's been going on now for a couple of years.